All right, so in this video, we're going to go ahead and look at some rules of exponents and simpl simplifying some of these expressions here. So here's some basic rules. Uh, if you have x to the a times x to the b, that's simply just x to the a plus b. So this, this might be a little confusing, but if you really think about it, x squared, for example, times x to the third is really x to the fifth. Now, if you think about how you get x to the fifth, you really just add 2 plus 3. And if you're wondering why, well, x squared really means x times x. And x cubed means 3x's, so x times x times x. And if you think about how many x's you're multiplying, well, that's simply just x to the fifth, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So a shorthand uh, or, or shortcut here is if you recognize that you're multiplying, you can simply just add the exponents or the powers. Uh, similarly, if you're dividing, we subtract the powers. So for example, if you have x to the fourth over x, this is simply x to the four, the top power minus the bottom power, which is really just one, so minus one, and you end up getting x to the third. This last one might seem a little confusing. You have x to the n, and that's equal to x times x times x times dot 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 times x n times, what in the world does this mean? Well, for example, if I told you, you know, you had x to the third, that really is x times x times x, three times whatever your power is. If I told you you had x, y squared, well, that means that you have x, y times x, y. Uh, notice you have those twice, whatever your power is. So we're going to use these three basic rules to kind of answer some of the questions that, that might pop up on that TSI exam of yours. So let's look at example one. So example one, we have 2x squared, and then we want to multiply that by 3xy squared plus x squared y squared. Well, to do this problem, we, we're going to go ahead and we're going to distribute. We're going to go ahead and distribute this term right there. So we have 2x squared times 3xy squared. So let's just multiply the number times the number. So 2 times 3 gives us a 6. Now let's look at our x's. We have x squared times x to the first power. Well, that's very similar to rule number 1 where we're multiplying. So x squared times x to the 1, well, that's just simply x to the 2 plus 1 is 3. So we're adding the powers. And then again, there is no y there is no y term to multiply this uh, to this y squared, so we simply just leave it alone and bring it down. And we have let's see, two times the number here. Well, remember there's a one right there, so two times one is just plus two. And now let's take care of our x squared times x squared. Well, again, we just multiply the. I'm sorry, we just add up the the powers. So two plus two is a four. And there is no y squared to multiply with outside, so we simply just bring the y squared down. And that's pretty much it for this example here. Let's uh, move on to example number two. So example number two, we have, we have x divided by 2y to the third. Now, what does this mean? Well, this means that you have 3x divided by 2y's. So that means that we have x divided by... 2y times x divided by 2y times x divided by 2y. And if we think about what we're doing, we're multiplying here, and all these powers are 1. So the top becomes x times x times x times x three times. So we add up all those 1s, and we get x to the third power. For the denominator, we have 2 times 2. That's 4 times another 2. That's just 8, and then again, this is y to the 1, y to the 1, y to the 1. So we end up with y to the third power. And that's pretty much it for these types of problems here. Uh, let's look at the last example for this video. So again, this last example, uh, we have x cubed. I'm going to run out of room here, so let me just go ahead and give me one second. Let me go ahead and slide this up a little bit so I can have some extra space. All right, so we have x cubed y plus xy squared plus y divided by y. Now, one thing I recommend when you have a problem like this is that you split everything up. In other words, I'm going to have x cubed y divided by y plus xy squared divided by y plus y 
divided by y. And now what I can go ahead and do is take care of this. Now, the x cubed, the x cubed, I look in the numerator, I have an x cubed. I look in the denominator, I don't have any x's, so I'm going to leave the x cubed alone. And now I'm looking at my y's. So again, this is y to the 1 over y to the 1. Well, you had a y on top, you have a y on the bottom. These are going to cancel out or subtract. You can subtract the powers. But really, these are going to cancel out. So let's move on to the next one. We have now plus xy squared divided by y. So again, in the denominator, I don't have any x's to combine with the numerator. So it's going to be plus x. Now I have to think a little bit. I have two y's on the top, and I have one y on the bottom. How many are going to remain? Well, again, the, the rule number two above says that we subtract these powers. So two take away one. Two take away one is one. And then plus, and here's where you got to be careful, because you have y to the one over y to the one. And you can simply just cancel them out. But one of the biggest mistakes that kids do is they cancel them out, and they forget to write something here. So they'll just submit this as an answer. But if you think about this, 1 minus 1 is 0, so y to the 0. But you know that anything to the 0 power is just 1. So this ends up turning into x cubed plus x times y plus, now instead of y to the 0, get y to the 0, anything to the 0 is simply just 1.